Hey, so uh, lake is frozen, but I wanted to just show you guys what we're dealing with here. So I'll turn the camera around real quick. Very dense forest all around. Very nice sounds and smells here, but the lake is still covered in ice. So uh, yeah, some good snow. I saw some side roads that were not processed. So, you know, it's April, what, 23rd. So definitely going to be waiting until the earlier parts of May to get up here and do a ton of fishing, but I'm going to look for some place that's not frozen and uh, we'll go from there. So uh, we're on Beaver Lake Road. I'm headed down now from the lake after I saw that it's still mostly frozen. There are sections that I could fish, uh, but it'd be kind of difficult and it'd be, it'd be kind of cold too. It's, uh, it's only 44 degrees Fahrenheit, so, you know, five, six, seven Celsius in that range. Um, this road is dirt and gravel. There are sections of it that are a lot worse off than this one. Um, definitely wouldn't put a 12 inch wheelbase on much more than what it's offering but I didn't want to just go up to the upper lakes and spend a ton of time going a place that I couldn't even fish at so I'm headed back down there's a provincial or a regional park down uh, more towards the city that is uh, probably not gonna be frozen I'll do some fishing there but very nice country this is the first area that I saw snow on the way up so shouldn't be much more of that stopping for some research after going to Kathleen Lake, at least looking into it, uh, I went back to Wood Lake, which is up in Lake Country. It's 27 minutes from our house, so pretty nice. And I, I read a little bit about it, and it said that this is one of the top kokanee salmon destinations to fish in Canada. So I'm pretty excited about it. I'll uh, put my GoPro on, and you'll get a nice view of it from there. Pretty excited about this spot. It looks like there's a boat launch over there, but I'm pretty glad that I am over here. Um, but yeah, the water is deeper. It's sooner over here. It's quite cold, as you can imagine, in April, but it feels good. And I'm hoping that maybe I can get some action over here. You definitely can't hear the highway as much. You can see that there are some vineyards along the lake, uh, and the highway runs up there. I'm kind of following it. You can see the, the traffic. And there's definitely not as many people as there were in the regional park, so yeah, I'm excited about this little spot. The water's looking really clear over there. There was always a lot of pollen. It seems like that's where it was accumulating, so yeah, and then I've got the, uh, oh, and there's a fish jumping right over there. If only I had a boat, you know, there's a bunch of guys out on a boat, uh, on boats fishing right now, so I'm hoping that I'm a winner over here just with throwing a little light tackle off the shore so eh, not bad there we go 